Hey, it's Dr. Modi from Gastro Office. Today I wanted to talk about the differences between diverticulosis and diverticulitis. Now, almost half of Americans have diverticulosis at age 60. What that is, is simply a weakness in the colon wall muscle that forms a bulge or a pocket. Now, there's not a clear science as to why this happens, but one hypothesis is that when we sit on the toilet, we strain and it causes upstream pressure into the colon. And that causes these little pockets. So at baseline, these pockets are not of concern. They do not increase your risk for colon cancer or polyps. But what we found is, is that these pockets can get infected. And this happens in almost, you know, 50 to 25% is what some studies suggest. And when this happens, that is called diverticulitis. A lot of patients will have you know, intense pain, fevers and chills, uh, may even have to go to the emergency room, and typically is required to, you know, treat this infection with antibiotics. Now, if you have recurrent diverticulitis, sometimes that requires surgical intervention as well. But a lot of patients do just fine, and they're not even aware of the diverticulosis that they have until time of colonoscopy. Now, the other complication from these out pouches is that rarely they can bleed. And, you know, studies suggest 5 to 15% of patients will have a diverticular bleed. And a lot of patients, you know, we, we used to instruct them many years ago, hey, avoid nuts, um, you know, anything with seeds, popcorn, because they can get stuck in the, in the pouches. Recent studies have actually demonstrated this not to be true. So the one thing that we do suggest to patients is fiber intake. And so fiber can be found in a lot of foods. There's also different types of fibers, soluble and insoluble fibers. So it's thought to maybe reduce the pressure at time of cold, you know, uh, emptying your stool, uh, as well as just help reduce the risk of forming these pouches as well. So when you go to your doctor and you have a history of diverticulosis, make sure you don't tell them you have a history of diverticulitis, because to me, those indicate two very different things. Diverticulosis, as I mentioned, is a benign condition. It's nothing to worry about. Diverticulitis would suggest you've had inflammation 